Hi everybody, it's Chris from ChristopherJ.net and this is my lesson number DB14 called Introducing the Metronome. The metronome is a very important, sometimes dreaded, practice tool and it's really great at helping you hone your timing and, and rhythmic abilities and uh, that's a very important part of, of music. So if you can't play in time, uh, people will notice. So anyway, this is a few pointers about what I know, what I've learned about using the metronome. And I have a, um, if you have just a, an old-fashioned uh, kind of a triangular or diamond-shaped uh, metronome with the, uh, the little pendulum that goes back and forth, I recommend that you buy yourself a digital metronome like the, uh, this one. It's a Bicorg MA1 metronome or something similar. Um, and the main reason is with the old-fashioned kind, uh, it only has certain set tempos. You can't dial it into a precise tempo like 123 beats per minute or whatever. Um, and if you want to uh, master a particular passage at a certain tempo, it would be uh, impossible to do with the old-fashioned metronome. So these are readily available and cheap, and I suggest you get one. Now I'll do a close-up and go over some of the controls uh, on this metronome. Okay, here is a close-up of my metronome. It's a Korg MA1, and here's a few of the, the basic controls on this. Um, the yellow button is a power or on-off button. If you push that, it turns it on. Some of the older models, um, if you push the power button, they would automatically start beating. Um, this one added uh, a helpful start-stop button, which is nice, um, because you can adjust some of the other controls, such as the tempo, and a type of rhythm without it constantly clicking and beating. Um, so it has a start stop button. If you push that, it just starts beating. It also has a, uh, a button called rhythm or beat slash rhythm. And with that, you can change either the beat or the rhythm. So if you tap on that, you can see beat shows up over here by the number. That means it's beating four beats to the measure. And then you can use the up and down arrows to change that. So if you click the down arrow, it changes to 3-4, uh, like a waltz. If you click on rhythm, there's different options that show up over here. And I don't know if you can see it, it's very tiny, but it says rhythm right next to the, the tempo marking. And with that, you can change from quarter notes to eighth notes, triplets, a shuffle beat, sixteenth notes. That's pretty fast, huh? And back to quarter notes. So there's a number of different rhythms in there that you can experiment with. Let's stop that. Um, another useful feature is on the side, it has a volume control. It's important to be able to hear the metronome when you're practicing. So you want to make sure that you can hear it. If you can't hear it from its internal little speaker, there's a uh, headphone jack. You can either plug in a set of headphones, like if you're going through a, uh, a little practice device, or you can send that to your amplifier. Great feature. Um, what else? Oh, it also has a, uh, I don't know how many people use this, but it has a tuner. It's not really a tuner, but it plays a tone, um, A440 standard tuning tone. So if you don't have anything else to tune with, you can always use that. Or you can use it to know your cat or something, or your family. Um, so that's the Korg digital metronome. Um, there's also, if you have a smartphone, like an iPhone or an Android, there's tons of metronome apps out there that you can check out. I have one called Pro Metronome that is a, an app-based version of uh, basically this type of a basic digital metronome. And it has a lot of the same similar features and it works great. So uh, if you're in a pinch and you don't have this with you but you have your phone, you can always use that. Um, so that's it. 
these aren't too expensive. They're either maybe $19 or $20, maybe $30. I don't remember how much I paid, um, but definitely uh, worth getting, it's worth a few cups of coffee or uh, or a lunch, you know. So uh, go ahead and get yourself one and have fun practicing.